There's something coming out from its back that looks like what I would describe as wings. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I think we captured the Jersey Devil. We captured the Jersey Devil. The Wild Wild West. We're on, dude. Yes. This could be the day all the funny stops. This could be the day. Why? I mean, it would be funny if we just, <laughs> this was the day we just were like. We had nothing. We had uh, a couple uh, of those. Yeah, but we never fully, the music never stopped on us, though. True. It's only, I mean, every, everyone needs to go get some, like, takeout and eat and regroup. But, yeah, you know, we, I mean, we've obviously came down the hill and then ran back, you know, charged. But I'm talking about this one day where it's like, I fully exhausted everything I know. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Uh, it's just constantly, like, repeating stories. Like, I think I've told you this before. It's just, it's like, a comment will be like, he said that story six times. It's like, yeah. all right. <laughs> Hey, come on, man. Yeah, chill. Just fire bro. up the juices. No, I got some. I got some juices. What you got going I've been on? back home, dude. I've been living. This, I found this tracksuit in my closet. Look at that, dude. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are excited about it. Hell but yeah. It's a nice dude. That, I've so been you just home. found I've that. Been home that was sitting around. This was in my closet, yeah. This is. What the hell? On. What else this you got in there? Like a Sam Hyde t shirt. No, I, <laughs> I retired. <laughs> it's the coronavirus. It's like I have coronavirus. You hung it on the rafters? It's in the rafters. <laughs> It'll br I'll break it out when I need it. There's, a, there's an emergency supply of clothing at my parents' house that's just the worst clothes. You're like a Grand, Theft, you're like insane, a Grand Theft Auto character. It really is, dude. <laughs> you just have like a different house over yeah. there and you have all your gear. <laughs> yeah, I really am, dude. Change my outfit, look in the mirror. I'm like, oh shit, here we go again. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I need to go home. I need to go back to New York. Yeah. I've been gone for like two weeks, maybe. Maybe even three. Damn. Two weeks. I think you're also, uh, I think, were you at the stand last Thursday or did you end up chilling? Chilling. I think Louis C.K. stopped by. I know Louis C.K. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a notification <laughs> from the club. He's coming. Hurry up. And I was like, fuck, I'm in D.C. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been missing the king. It's all good. It's all right. You know, he feels you. He can feel my presence. He's probably like this out in the crowd like. Is, is he here <laughs> is shane here that'd be amazing uh yeah dude i've been home i've been full trump really you're back on dude, as soon as i'm home i'm just full fucking trump dude <laughs> just the whole, i've been watching like fox news at night <laughs> it's crazy i've been watching tucker like yeah it gets you fired up he, do he does dude yeah. he just riffs yeah man. i mean obviously it's written but it's like every night he just sits in front of the camera and is like Oh, you you expect us to believe the vaccines? I I can't I'm watch like, him. No, I can't watch Tucker because he makes too much sense. Dude, dude. Tucker's I watch like him, dead on. I can't because I, <laughs> I start watching him and I my it my whole YouTube algorithm just completely gets taken over by stuff that I'm like, yeah, and I try to like talk to people about. It. They're like, dude, just please stop. Uh, my YouTube algorithm's <laughs> just barstool right now. Is it really? Yeah, it's pretty sick. That's dude. pretty tight. I've I've done a, a bit of a 180 on them mm -hmm. over the last few years, but. Spotted me were talking about it. It's very funny because he was like, where are the broskies? And he was like, anytime I see Barstool, I'm like, yes, dude. The broskies are still That's out the there. I had to tell him. I was like, the broskies are on the links. You yeah. don't see them. They're, they're golfing. Oh, right. All the sure. broskies are just golfing right now. Yeah. They'll return. Sure. They'll be back. They'll be like Gandalf. They'll return when we need them. Yeah. The broskies will come back. Wait, wait, why do you think the broskies are gone? Because of everything on television and music and movies. Mm. He thinks the skis are gone, dude. Really? Yeah. They think they've, they've gone. But he's like, and then I watch Barstool, and I'm like, yes, dude, the skis exist. They're right here. They're dude. still making content. Oh, you're talking about on TV? Yeah, yeah true. The that skis is, are gone. That's Broski headquarter, dude. But what used to be, the, I think there was a that is Broski headquarter. There was a confusion about where, like, because the, there was the Chive. I never liked the Chive, and no. I always kind of like conflate. I always figured those two were very similar. The Chive, and then then I'd watch. Uh, like they would just release something, and I'd be like, whoa. I didn't know. Yeah. You, I didn't know. Like, because I'm like putting like the chive thing to it, and they they would just drop a take that I'm like, huh? yeah. yeah. Now they've <laughs> like, they yeah, tend to backpedal slightly lately. Yeah, they've they've come around slightly. You get Chank the... Uger on your ass, dude. What? Chank Uger? Who's the What's guy that? from the? Uh, who's the dude from? Uh... Chank Uger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even imagined that name. What are you who's, talking who's about? Who's the guy from the Young Turks? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, it's I know there's Chank Uger. Dude. <laughs> some made up <laughs> gibberish name. 
Yeah, I mean, dude, Chank Uger's probably got <laughs> Chank Uger has been on our ass, dude. <laughs> Bar, he probably is all knocking on the door at Barso. Like, let me the fuck yeah, in. Yeah, you guys, guys are disrespecting women. He probably has tons of vaccines. Like, oh, fuck yes. it. Let me in. I'm about to fucking jab. What's his name? <laughs> Chank Uger? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? Can I get a pronunciation on Chank Uger? <laughs> yeah, I think it is C E N K U Y G U R. All right, settle down over there. You don't have to fucking scream it. <laughs> I'm not screaming it. I'm enunciating it. Chank Uger? Uger? Call it Chank Uger. Just call it, dude, didn't Jones get in his ass? Did you see that? <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, dude. I'm looking out for him every How time. How scary would that be to have Jones in your ass, dude? I mean, either one of them. If you were trying to do a podcast and Jones came in here and was oh. like, there's those two faggots right now. I'd be like, <laughs> whatever you say, sir. You yeah. see, did you watch the Alex Jones on? I got to see it, man. Dude, it's so funny. How was he? It's He got bombed. Did he really? He got fucking hammered. Why is he getting so hammered? Why is he Because Jones around? is a ski. You think they got to him? <laughs> yeah, they compromised. Barstool compromised him. Did they? Definitely. Barstool, He's has, to ski. Bring, Barstool has to bring him on. They, could they, could they bring, who would have their sponsors would they lose if they brought on Alex Jones? <laughs> I don't know. Probably Bud Light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ma- Manscaped and Bud Light would be like, we can't even associate with this guy. True, yeah. But uh, Yeah, the pube shaving company would be like, this is probably Yeah, this is bad for this us. This is bad for pubes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the reason I called Spade was mm-hmm. because I had watched uh, Generation last night. What's that? Have you heard of this? Have no. you seen this? Have you heard of this? No. It's a new, it's a hit new HBO series. It's like Euphoria. Mm-hmm. They just did Euphoria again. Really? Except this one, less hot kids, mm-hmm. more queer kids. Okay. It's just a school where all the coolest kids are gay. Nice. <laughs> like <laughs> the, the captain of the water polo team, which first off, that's what I took the most umbrage with. The captain of the water polo the team? The fucking coolest guy in school is the best water polo player. <laughs> Burn this school to the ground. Yeah. They should, they should have an episode where there is a school shooting and it's just two jocks. Two of the football players that are like, this school's gay as shit. <laughs> Trump 2020. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, yeah, their school shooters were like, you won't take my guns away. <laughs> yeah. Well, wait, so there's a school where Dude. the water polo cap is the water polo captain gay? He is at least bisexual. He keeps getting Swag. demerits for Swag. wearing like dresses and crop tops. He's like a sassy gay black dude. Gotcha. He's like, um, I'm actually a lot. Like, that's what he says to the guidance cat. It's great. Wait, so what is water polo exactly? It's like you have a volleyball. Is it like dunk the man? To... It's dunk the man with the ball? <laughs> yeah. It's smear the queer. Did you ever play? <laughs> <laughs> smear the queer. In the water. Yeah. Which, how funny is that? that we used que- to play dude, that. We used to play smear the queer. <laughs> we were like, smear the queer. <laughs> Never did I even associate. Well, that if you don't with. know what smear the queer is, it's really it's kill the man with the ball. Same yeah, whoever has the ball, smear you, the queer, and you just it's like you're it's playing football ball. where it's you versus everybody. Yeah. Did you ever play grease a watermelon? No. What? That's like when you're all swimming, you <laughs> grease a watermelon and you throw it in the pool, and you got to try to hold on to it, and everyone's just fucking you up. That's water polo. Same thing. Yeah. But the the captain of this high school also it's so funny. Smear the queer was a game. Yeah. That, that spread like wow. That, that kid's a queer. Get I would, him. I would come out. I would come out from playing for dinner time. My mom like, what are you guys doing? Like playing smear the queer. She yeah, everybody like, oh, smear good, the- good son. That's a value you need to learn. I also wonder how those games get handed down. Like, how do you know how to play capture? How do you know how? Yeah, to play it's kick like the can? the Pretty origins. Crazy. You know how like lacrosse started? Like they were like they played with like a human head in Mexico or some bullshit like that. <laughs> smear the queer was just like they definitely just they queer. found out a guy was gay and smeared him. <laughs> <laughs> some guy was just carrying like a, a, a tennis ball home and they're like probably make a game fuck? out of this tackle <laughs> <laughs> who plays tennis so there's a show where it's it's a it's a gay it's a gay high school gay high school the gayest um, man gayest man the top of the pecking order yeah he's queer well, it's also a, funny that there's another kid that gets jizzed in his eye at a party from another man it happens uh and that's like a turning that's a moment in the show is a guy getting jizzed, a high school kid Catching a load from another high school kid in the eye. Who's supposed to be watching this stuff? Uh, me. <laughs> it's just a bunch of dudes hate watching it. Like, yeah. what the fuck happened to this country? If I and see no, another kid chick. get cum in his eye. It's a chick show. Is it? It's designed for girls. Girls yeah. love watching they high love school-based dramas. Dude. Yeah. It's really weird. It's 
I don't know what it is it about is. them. If you, if you throw like dudes in Letterman jacket, if, if girls can just watch a screen replay of people slamming lockers and turning around and seeing their crush, <laughs> yeah. they would just watch a gif of that for fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Drop your books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. All you gotta do is someone figured it out. Base a show in high school and have somebody fall in love with somebody and have a couple people argue. Every girl will be like, Have you seen yeah. Riverdale or whatever? Yeah, what, trash. Yeah. And then it's uh but now they've really upped it to like the point where it's like just gay porn in a high school. It's gay child porn. It's great. Just gay child. It's great. It's, on it's HBO. good stuff. They're like, yeah, the main, yeah. Everybody's What's the getting... scene? Break me down the scene of a guy getting jizz in his eye. Uh, Was he like kneeling? Other dude standing? I don't want to spoil squatting? it for anybody. You can spoil it. <laughs> All right. Because I know our listeners are going to be flocking. Is this the f- moment of the finale? I don't know. I, I, Is I, a guy like walking like. I think it might be three episodes long. I could be way wrong on this. Gotcha. That's all I saw on my queue. So a guy got but, jizz. Yeah, and it's uh, it's, it's like a Tarantino movie. It's it's really good. It shows well, they every use the n word constantly. <laughs> 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 they yeah, it's as soon that's what the kid yells when he gets hit in the <laughs> eyes. Like you fucking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's like the first episode's like a party, and it shows from the guy the water polo captain's perspective, which is great because it the, the show opens with him being like, I have to go see the guidance counselor because of my outfit. And he walks in. He's like the last guy. Or the guidance counselor sucks. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. And they're like, he's actually dead. And then he walks in and sees a hip black guy as the new guidance counselor. And he's like, like he's just instantly. <laughs> as soon as he sees a black guy, he's like, oh, good. Wait, so he hears the guidance counselor is dead. Yeah. He's like, why do I have to talk to this fucking loser? This guy sucks. And they're like, he's dead. I think he had a WAP name too. Quite really? racist, but <laughs> clearly it was a honky. And then. uh Goes in, sees a sees a pretty chill ass gay black dude as the new guidance counselor. Nice. Shit, shit rocks. They're boys now. Hell yeah. Uh, then he goes to a party and it shows this other kid's perspective from the white family, mm-hmm. which is they're rich as fuck. The mom's a church lady with like a schedule for all of them on the board, and the kids are like s- sexual deviants. Nice. It's I mean it's the perfect caricature of a shitty white family. Yeah. Like it's like is that what they think this is? Yeah, it's like also what white people are. Well, it's also telling who's writing this is a rich white lady who is like rich and, white man. Really, I looked it up because I was thinking like water polo is a giveaway. Dude. This like, is just normal stuff like water polo. Yeah, like the coolest kid in the school, uh, captain of the water polo team. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that's the kind of a dead giveaway, man. Uh, yeah, I looked it up. It's a fifty-one-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. And his daughter, his 19-year-old daughter, helped shape some of the characters. What? So him and his daughter sat down and were like, all right. And then the guy gets cum in his eye. Nice. What's where, Where's this guy from? Probably California. Jesus if Christ. I had to guess. I might move to California, then move to Texas, dude. Just to make True. a point. Just to make a point. <laughs> make a dude, point and be just... like, <laughs> I'm going to Texas. Uh, yeah, I had to I had to search that guy's IMDb. I was furious. I was fuming, dude. dude I just what? turned off Tucker. I'm sitting in a recliner, just like motherfuckers. <laughs> They're fucking killing my country. <laughs> and uh yeah, so then it, it shows the cool gay or bi water polo player gets to the party. He meets this kid who's been DMing him or texting him anonymously. That actually happens to be the kid who just got jizzed in his eye from another kid. Okay. But those two Oh, man. The drama's through the roof. Really? He gets jizzed in the eye from his sister's boyfriend. Him and his, He's cheating on his... His boyfriend... All right. The guy's cheating on a girl with her brother. Yeah. Pretty sick. Maybe we do need to go to war with Iran. Iran's right. I think, I think right. we need war, right? I think turns we out, actually need war. Turns out Iran is definitely right. What happened? About us. What are they saying? They're like, they're sinful, gay fucking deviants. <laughs> we're like, nah, you just hate us because we're the best. <laughs> like, no, we're actually gay as fuck, dude. <laughs> Putting out child porn constantly. Yeah, man. We might need to just fight. We need to just like just fight and have a lot of us die and just so we can just be like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, turn that off. We're not, you don't need to watch that. Yeah, what are we doing? Jesus, man. It's, so that's the plot. It's just everyone's jizzing on everybody. Yeah. It's just classic high school, dude. True. And then, yeah. like, a real introspective introspective girl who's a photographer. She's, like, real, like, nice to everybody. Is she troubled? I think she's pregnant. I think she gives birth in a bathroom at the mall. And the other girls are trying to help her. What? It was a whirlwind, bro. So she was nine months pregnant and nobody noticed? Yeah. Just a, that's how separated how families could they, are dude? today, dude. How could they even notice? I mean, what, do you think they're going to body shame her? True. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 
yeah, I don't. So she, that's fun. it was a lot. I was fuming. I mean, that, that's cashing in on the euphoria vibe. At least euphoria had hot teens boning. <laughs> Guy like me could get into that. <laughs> it just, it's just kids jizzing. Now it's just kid boys jizzing. So are they even showing boys jizzing on each other? Or are you just like tuning in to just like glazed? Are they just glazed? Cut to just a guy just like totally glazed. Yeah, he got like an eye infection from it too. That's not true. And his church mom was like, you have pink eye. I jizz in my own eye. Pink eye lasts for 20 minutes. Well, it's your own jizz. It won't get you. True. My body didn't reject it. Fox smells his own hole. True. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? You can jizz on yourself. True. (laughs) Yeah, I remember thinking my eye was going to be fucked up for a while. 20 minutes, dude. In and out. I was back to 2020 vision in two minutes. Probably improved. Probably I got actually. some stem cells. Exactly. That's why I, I think my right eye is a little bit better. I Which one like, did you hit your right eye? This is my right eye. My right, <laughs> what did you say when you got hit? You go, oh. oh, it was just like, eh, eh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a weird noise. <laughs> yeah. I've hit my own face, and that's the noise you make. You, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like if you got sand in your mouth, it's the same noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was watching that, getting fired up. Did anyone see you watching it? No. It's tough, dude. But it is going to be uh, watched on the Comcast. Someone's going to say, see that I watch. Probably my sister. She'll notice. You think so? Definitely. You think you'll get a text? Uh, No, she'll like it. Really? She'll like the show. Really? She's girl. True, true. It's in high school. My She's bad. lady. It's in high school. It's a high school drama about gay dudes. <laughs> true. They love gay dudes. I know. True. So that's who it's for. But it is written by a 51-year-old man and his daughter. They teamed up to write a very sexual show. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. That's fucked up, man. I might add him. Uh, I don't, might hashtag. Don't, don't I'm, I'm say kidding. that. I'm God kidding. damn it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not going to do don't that. Don't add him. You fucks. Yeah, you don't want You know what? That guy would You'll ruin love, our that lives. That guy would love nothing more. They would love nothing more. For someone more to be than mean some, to him on the internet. So he could be like, someone's attacking my yeah. child porn art. Eh. Yeah, the broskies coming out of the woodworks, getting yeah, off you the don't links. Want the dude. The skis, dude. Don't pull them off the links, That's, dude. Uh, That's absolutely- I'll praise, I'll praise B to Billy on the skis, by the way. True, yeah. Just, just so we're clear. Yeah. <laughs> I am stealing lingo. <laughs> the skis is so. I was talking to, dude. I was about, uh, we were talking about the skis, and I was just talking about how Beezer might be the king ski, dude. You think so? I was like, he's the most loyal ski. True. And, and also, I don't think I've ever seen him sad. True. I think the Beezer is just the Beezer 24-7. He's full broski. He's an absolute ski at all times. Well, he probably he probably doesn't admit it. He probably <laughs> doesn't. I was like, maybe Beezer's autistic. <laughs> I don't think I've seen him change an emotion once. <laughs> he probably does it like a proper broski is supposed to. He he probably just administers cold pilsner immediately upon any sort of any emotions, any emotion, just administer a cold pilsner, Hit, you know, like right back to base, or just scream cries into his pillow. At night. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck, <laughs> dude? <laughs> I got a fucking doodle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny about how everybody you know at one point just breaks down just <laughs> at, like Street out of cry. nowhere just like <laughs> yeah o'connor also intense bro but he's laid up dude you got depressed broski really O'Connor. <laughs> no. O'Connor, he's always sad dude. i hate when my broskis are laid up no beezer that's the good thing about beezer <laughs> dude. I'm, i swear to god i've never seen him like angry <laughs> No. <laughs> Except like he'll get a hammer at helium and be like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, buddy. I mean, yeah. Every once in a while, oh, true. He does have, he does. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could turn the temp up on him a little. Oh, fuck. But dude. he doesn't spaz, doesn't, doesn't seem to hold grudges. I've never seen him sad. Nah. He just gets tired, dude. Yeah, Beezer just, just runs out of batteries and goes to bed and comes back. <laughs> he just gets tired. <laughs> oh, fuck. He just rocks till his eyes yeah. get watery and, and he just is like, <laughs> he wakes up yo what are we doing <laughs> yeah that's all that matters Spotted, yeah he was worried about where the skis have gone where have all the skis gone yeah so, dude they're on the links yeah they're out saturdays golfing. are for the boys golf they're drinking fucking bud lights that's what you don't want is the you get out you get the broskies out there they're out on the links they're sipping cold pilsners their faces are red from sunburn <laughs> and they hear some news and then they hit twitter and it's like dude <laughs> That's like a CIA trained assassin. True. Those, it's just the mean. It'll be the meanest. There's some guy. The ski? Like, yeah. Fucking, it's like fuck? fucking stand up, quit kneeling. <laughs> 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 fucking, I'm saying it. Yeah, Phil and his boys, my dad and his boys are skis. Are they? Yeah, absolute big time, skis. Dude. They go to the men's club. They go to the, the Elks, get fucking bombed. Yep. Yo, I went to bingo. I went to bingo at the Elks How this was weekend. It? 
sat down one on my first card. What? Yelled out, it's a bingo. Did you? Yeah, the, the geezers were none too pleased. I was flashy. Ge- what? Yeah, people, dude, I've never, I go there sometimes, bingo at the Elks rules. Yeah. If you win, everyone hates you. Oh, I bet. As soon as you win, people are like, oh, oh. <laughs> it's so funny. But How much did you win? I won 100 bucks. Woo. Gave it to the squad, right? I was like, put it on, pay for the pilsners, for the table, bro. That's what's so respectable. That, last- that can buy, that, that, uh. That's bet you spiked the ball in the end zone. Oh yeah, and that's like got it. the money. Made sure everybody saw it. <laughs> <laughs> you probably hated that even more, dude. Phil, Phil hates to see me win. Really? And it, well, I understand. I'm a dickhead. I'm like, look, I, you know, it skips a generation. I have the championship gene. <laughs> <laughs> and Phil, Phil says, oh, okay. <laughs> well, it happens. I don't know why. It oh, skips a generation. <laughs> So he saw you stun on the hundred. Yeah, it's hard not to fold that up and put it in your pocket, dude. Start calculating gas money. Or like, oh yeah, so get me back and forth in New York like six <laughs> times. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid move to put on the table. But like, it's, at the Elks Lodge too, the beers are like three dollars. Yeah, so that was that's a lot of beers got it done. skis, dude. Everybody got tendies. Tape, everybody's dinner was like tendies and Bud Lights and Bingo. Dude, it was a great. Covered the whole night. It's a great night. Damn. Yeah. So was it a hundred every time someone won? Yeah, and then, then the final How that's would, what 10. What was the buy-in? Uh 10 or 20. And you get a stack of 10 Damn, cards. And then dude. there's 10 games, and then there's the blackout. Mm-hmm. You know what blackout is? Uh-uh. It's where you got to get every single one. And that's the big money. That was 500. What? And it was great because I was like, I was one away. Oh. And I was like, dude, please let me get this. And then the lady behind me was like, bingo. And I was like, fuck. And then I turned around. It was like a lady with her two children. And she like kissed her kid. It was like, Ugh. and I was like, oh fuck, <laughs> glad you won. I would have felt like a dick. I would have wanted to be like, oh, it's a bingo. <laughs> Some ladies like relying on it for groceries. Yeah, Damn. you could see it was a big, big. big. It was like uh, an eight mile. Yeah. Doesn't she win bingo? That one? I think so. I think she comes home and is like things are turning around. I think she. That's did what win. happened with I think that she lady. Did win bingo. She won bingo and was like, we're getting fucking bread oh. and fucking. Damn. Cocoa crisps, we baby, we done it. Mom coming dr- home drunk on a bingo win, Just holding up it's like, like forty bucks you. left. Oh. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, bingo's for like if you're too <laughs> confused about blackjack, you're like oh, let's play bingo. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to cheat too. You can cheat the whole time. How do you how do you cheat? Ah, you just get a nice advantage at the beginning, so you don't. So when you get your cards, you get ten cards, but you can use any of them at any time. So I laid out a couple. Saw where the first number hit. Oh. So, ah, yeah, that's a good spot on this card. Take that card. But you keep your eye on the other ones, too. And if they don't call any numbers of yours for a little while, you save the card. True. Like, this is a dud. I'm going to save it for the next hand. <laughs> Here we go. Anytime 69 got called, ooh. <laughs> yeah. How are people feeling that? They all did it. Did they? Everybody at the Elks. What? When, when fucking 069 gets called, the place gets rowdy. What? Whole place is just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. Even the guy who called it is this big dude. This fat dude, like, leaning behind a table with his fat wife. <laughs> He's like, everybody's favorite, oh, 69. And the whole place is like, oh, shit. Do you know, uh, s- someone has a song right now that's, like, subliminally about 69ing, Ariana Grande. What? Her song's called 3435, that apparently is about 69ing. Damn, that's yeah, numerology shit. Yeah, dude. It's like 9-11. Well, it's so funny that like Ariana Grande is gonna some weird production team is gonna be like, how about a song about how about a secret song about sixty nine ing? And it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know that thing. Do pop stars no one do likes? that, <laughs> dude. I love sixty nines, but nobody wants. You love sixty nines? I think they're awesome. They're cool for a very brief amount of time. Yeah, I mean, I I think because everybody's awesome. I, at least me, I'm a very uh, terrible love maker. Mm-hmm. I'm not really focused. I'm not in the moment at all, yeah, ever. Really? I'm literally just focused on. <laughs> I'm not even enjoying the suck fest I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> the tubular sucking. What is your preferred sixty nine layout? <laughs> what is it? What do you mean? What is the other? What's the options? I mean, you could go up. You, you go, want you me up take top. top? You could take the top. No, that'd be too you much. You take the top and just fucking get in a four point. Have my stance. belly. Get a four point. <laughs> my dong would be here. My belly would just be <laughs> flat against her. <laughs> like suck whatever you want. Yeah, get in there. I'm eating pussy. I'm going down, dude. This song is so funny because it's about like watching movies and all. Like basically, it's it's Ariana Grande, like. 
poetically trying to get a guy to come to her house to 69 all night, but it's, she's talking about like movie nights and stuff. And it's like, yeah, it's not a tough <laughs> sell Ariana Grande. Well, so, <laughs> like going from Netflix to chill to like, Oh, and part of that is a, a long 69 session. Yeah. <laughs> it's just fucking weird. That's not a tough, like the Pope would say yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm done with this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, the Pope came out against uh, or the church made an official stance against, uh, I think, gay unions, which is a funny word for, for uh, gay people hanging out. Yeah. Unions. That's what the Philadelphia indoor soccer team is named after. The Philadelphia gay Union. union. About gay, it's yeah, about true. Gay. Every single fucking group of MLS fans is gay. God, I hate MLS. They're, dude, MLS fan sections, they're all... Don't get me started. <laughs> MLS, you would hate them. What's up if with you them? You saw it. It's it's Antifa. What? Every oh, single you told one me. Them, you did tell me every that. single. There's a direct link between Antifa and whatever local MLS teams, uh, Why? fan section is because they're all dorks. True. Searching for meaning that they never had when they were young. So now they latched onto an MLS team that like was started in 2011 by owned by John. Like, finally, Jovi. meaning in my life. Yeah. I'm gonna wear this fedora and chucks. You go watch like arena soccer. You go watch terrible soccer. Yeah, why? Why do uh? I don't know. There's a direct link. Why would Antifa support? Well, I guess because it's like a global. They're like, this is the least racist sport, soccer, because everyone plays. True, it even world. though it's probably the most racist. Big time. Every dude. single European game, like someone throws a banana at a play. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you're dealing with people where it's like yeah. you can do that in your whole. Yeah, you're play. going up against like Serbians. Yeah, and you're England, and you're like everyone's like fuck yeah, fuck those guys. Yeah. It's not there's not people like well actually it's like no I mean I'm sure that exists in England but yeah, I'm sure England's up there but England's actually equally as gay as us yeah not that it's gay to fight racism but I, mean, I know what you're to like about. tear down a Winston Churchill statue yeah y- congratulations you gay what uh why they tear down Churchill statue uh, I think he was racist yeah. <laughs> yeah he also saved us from fascism but you know whatever really yeah he fucking defeated the Nazis. Yeah, but still, he was man. the last. He was the last lion, dude. Was he really? He was hanging on. He was the bastion we needed. You ever see that movie? What? The Churchill? Darkest Hour. No. Oh, it's great. I wouldn't. I refuse to watch oh, it. Fuck. People were complaining about my history stuff. Why? Fuck them. Why? What's wrong with that? I don't know. People were yapping. Fuck, dude. Don't There's know. a fucking sick ass movie about. It's just funny that they so like England needed. Mm-hmm. They were like, we need the guy who's the best at talking shit to save us from this. And then it just cuts to like a attic where Fat Churchill's in his bed, what? just getting hammered. And they're like, "We need him, turn him on." And he's just like, "We will fight on the beaches." Like he just immediately Damn. starts talking that shit. Did he ever? Do you think he ever sent messages to Hitler? Like, "Fuck you, dude." Definitely. Fucking art school. Yeah. Pussy. Pussy ass bull. You think he sent pussy bull? That must have been so funny sending messages talking to shit. Hitler and just talking shit to him. Dude, that's like the Japan thing. Talking shit to Japan when you know you have nukes. Just like, you sure you guys don't want to say sorry? <laughs> you should say sorry. <laughs> I'll never. I'll never use someone in there. <laughs> I bet you do. Um, yeah, I, I'm furious about Winston Churchill, dude. You should be. I heard he was sexist, too. Oh, definitely. When, what year was this? Uh, I mean, it's World War II when he was at Nin- his peak. 1940? Yeah. And then I think they had to remove him after World War II because they didn't need that juice anymore. Really? Yeah. They didn't pull I mean, We can turn this down. Really? He was still in office. Like, we got to fuck the Soviet Union up. And everyone was like, yo, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> chill. We've had enough war. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Yeah, we had a couple of those. Nice. We had some bulls that were like, all right, Soviet Union's next. And everyone was like, please, no. Yeah, we don't want to fight. We've had enough. They'll fall apart. Yeah. They did. Hell yeah. They were right. Yeah, I wonder. Uh, so you're saying Iran? You think we're gonna fight Iran? No. All right. I haven't heard anything. That would be too big. Yeah. That would be too grand scale. Yeah. We're gonna keep fucking with the small ones, the right. fractured ones. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I think they're gonna keep that on the table. Like, we might fuck around, and smash Iran. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Maybe, maybe we'll Iran. Fight. Maybe we'll fucking go to war with China, dude. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe China will fucking find out. I think, we'll see. Yeah. A lot of people are just talking shit, dude. It's like, yo, bro, if you're gonna be about it, dude. That's because our our news. Our news is fucking inciting fear. Yeah. Like, what do you guys think about World War Three? <laughs> Wouldn't that be terrifying? It's like, yeah, for sure. After the break, we all might die in a single yeah. flash of heat yes. and light. It's just a dove soap commercial. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that a commercial. <laughs> like, my wife's a bitch. <laughs> so I got a dove. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, man. Dude, I uh I was thinking about that today. It's like I haven't heard anything about Biden, dude. I don't. There's just I don't hear anything. He hasn't spoken. What? 
He hasn't spoken publicly since he's been in office. Nothing? No. He, he stood he, out front. They got like a, the wait. German Shepherd like bit somebody or something. What? <laughs> yeah, they had to send the German Shepherd down to Delaware. They had to relocate him. Send him down. Why did it bite someone? I forget. What what happened there? Did either of you two numbskulls know? Jeez. It was something. He stood out front in like a cool fucking bomber jacket and jeans. Yeah, just and aviators took it like an and was like photo. holding a dog. Yeah, oh, it's like, dude, who is this guy? <laughs> he is dead. He may be dead. Yeah, man. He, I don't. I mean, i've I've heard that. Uh, I've heard that he show he's showing signs of like advanced. Uh, yeah, which we call it. I, it's funny Dementia? you forget the word all. Yeah, I forget <laughs> yeah, like uh, yeah, that thing where you forget everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I haven't heard anything from him, man. I don't. I don't like. He has not I was, spoken. I was getting bombarded with Trump news, and all my president, all my presidential news just stopped, and I'm like, I feel lost. I, I thought he was supposed to. I'm waiting for him to bring us together. He's supposed to he's unite us. On it. Is he? Yeah, we're going to be together. I can't wait till he brings me together with all the people who don't want like, anything to do with me. Yeah. It's like Joe Biden said so. We have, yeah. to, hang, we have to hang out and talk now. I have to do alt rooms. I'm Joe just, Biden said. Joe, Joe, Joe. <laughs> you have to let me into your safe spaces. You have to. It, it was, we did the long, dark winter. Darker than anything we've ever done. Now we're coming <laughs> it was pretty together. pretty dark. It actually did get pretty dark, dude. <laughs> the squad's falling apart. Nah, dude. The broskies, the broskies are, are holding strong. Dude, I'm proposing we should have a, like a, a carnival type festival. Every 10 years to commemorate the coronavirus. So, because we, we came out of 2020, we should do 2030, should be like a more, a national. We, we do that at Helium every two weeks. True. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we mourn the losses. True. Yeah. You should do that. There should be a big nationwide, like, shut everything down for seven days. Yeah. Like the purge, except a everyone, party. Everyone go outside, show all of your vaccinations that you, you're now yeah. mandated to show. Dude, well, I think they're going to try to make people start showing them. Your vaccination things? I think that's coming, Probably. bro. That's coming. That's coming. You're going to see. I haven't got my flu shot. Yeah, for, for like flights time. and all that shit. I think it's coming. Almost definitely. I'll be on the John Madden bus. Fucking True. <laughs> I'm on the John Madden bus tomorrow. Are you? Yeah. The Chevy Cruze with the bees, Ooh. dude. <laughs> the bees. you got to wrap that thing, dude. You've got to wrap True. the cruise. In what, though? Just your face. What? Yeah, wrap the cruise. No. Dude. Funny man Shane, you should do problem funny child. Man Shane. Shiny, funny man Shane or the problem child, dude. And just have it like book like <laughs> book me for bookings. <laughs> have have my Instagram. IG, Twitter on my back windshield. Your Instagram. On my dude. back uh what's that? And called? then just for good measure, get a herbalife thing on the back of your car and just fucking Sponsored by Blue True Herbalife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should just drive a NASCAR with this <laughs> podcast sponsors. Get like a ridiculous car and just wrap it yeah, in. Yeah, it'd like, be sick to decals. die in. <laughs> just get a very bloody, violent wreck and some wrapped bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it'd be tough to take seriously, dude. You got to start thinking money, dude. If you wrap, if you wrap your car, what I want to die in? <laughs> <laughs> a neon green and black wrapped thing with your face, and then just be like, <laughs> dude, that would be sick. Yeah. That'd be awesome, dude. I wonder how many tickets I'll get. People will be like, oh, <laughs> pull this thing over. <laughs> this is crazy. He's up to something. Nah, dude. No one would even blink. True. They would be like, oh, that's, that's a problem, child. That's my face <laughs> flying by going 80. <laughs> Damn, there goes problem, and child. And every, every comedy club you do, park it in like sideways in four spots, dude. <laughs> problem, child has arrived. <laughs> Set up some merch out of the trunk. I was actually, <laughs> I was actually going to start up a, a small savings account where I'm gonna take my money and start slowly like hitting pet boys hard as fuck and pimping my ride, like just a little bit at a time. Yeah, just make like get the thing that like the the little light bar that like goes with the music and just be like, yo, thank you everybody. Just want to show you, you know. Yes. Th with your support, I tricked out the interior of my Honda Civic and just have like just you know. Please that trick it out. Spoiler, get a monster spoiler. ground effects. Yeah. Maybe get some 12s or some yeah. 14s, dude. And it's some 12s. Some 12s. Some 12s would be spinners. Sick. Oh, my God. No, I'm talking about the speakers. Oh, I thought you were talking about the rims. Some 12 12s, inch bro? rims? 12s? On, a, on a Civic? You're looking at 14s. I was about to say, yeah, not 12s. Some 14s. Yeah, dude, some 14s. But that's an LX, right? That's a 14s. I think so, yeah. Them 14s. <laughs> I might get, I told Brittany I was going to get plastic spinners, and she's like, I won't be, I won't. I don't know if they even, yeah. Don't make them. So I can get them. I believe you. I could get plastic. But Double D's has them. <laughs> Double D's is probably selling spinners. I might start a rim shop. It's a plastic rim, a plastic only rim shop, dude. Yeah, that'd be sick. But people still into rims? No. Damn, that sucks. That was tight. Rims did rule. 
Yeah, rims are sick. I yeah, I was waiting cool to be able to get some, and I feel like now I actually might be able to get rims, and it's like now no one even likes them anymore. <laughs> like, True. I got you out of it. really sick rims, dude, that would be sick. Point. Remember when rims were cool, and now we're just, you know what's cool? Bisexual water polo players. <laughs> yeah, dude. How can I ever become that? I mean, I, I think it's kind of racist to, you know, throw rims on it. You know how many rim shops are going underwater? They're like... No one's buying them. It's like, yeah, everyone's jizzing on each other now. No one wants rims. And they're like, what the yeah, fuck? Everybody's afraid of appropriating. True. I should trick Phil's car out. Dude. <laughs> Christmas 2021. Just get him rims. Oh, fuck. What the hell's this? <laughs> I, my wheels are fine. Gee. Now, how much do these cost? $2,200 yeah, a piece. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get Phil some. Just one rim at least. It's like, <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't notice. You get one spinner on the back. <laughs> Just fucking let him go. <laughs> And then when he finally found it, he'd be coming out of the Elks. <laughs> the hell's this? <laughs> the hell? It's still moving. I'm stopped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god, dude! I took a um, I took an ice bath yesterday, like ice, <laughs> like 22 pounds of ice in a bathtub. Why? 30, 34 degree water. Why? I dude, I, I want to start ice bathing. I want to get into it. It's too cold. I was my tap. <laughs> yeah. I came, my tap came out at. It, I finally tempted it up. It's fifty. Sorry, I'm, I keep crying. That's it's nice. uh fifty six degrees, I believe. Chilly, and I've submerged myself. You got in those that. pupils too. No, dude, I'm telling you, I'm out on the micros. Oh, I thought it was Tuesday. I, I usually, were, I usually do. You just have beautiful eyes. That's the problem, Thank you, bro. Thank were you, you. microdosing on the last one, Michaela Peterson podcast? No, everyone thinks my everyone. Yeah, I got DMs. Like, was mad. I was like, probably. No, I swear I was to trying God, trying to expand the legend. I was like, definitely. Yeah, dude, I was on high as fuck. Minutes of acid. No, I was just chilling. <laughs> The um, but yeah, I thought dude, she wasn't gonna put that out. So did I. After a few weeks, I was like, I thought she, and honestly, I was like, yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't care. Yeah, I was like, it makes sense because she was pretty straight faced after several jokes, yeah. including the partially blind fuck with us heavy. After she was talking about the fucking dude with one Senator eye, Senator Dan Crenshaw. Yeah, sorry, bro. <laughs> but yeah, Possibly that was hers. that was very funny. Actually, I remember that being like, dude, the partially blind fuck with us heavy. Yeah. And she was like, well, straight faced, just like. Okay, so okay. what was it like? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. She was a good sport. She was. She's a good sport. Producer rules, too. She's a beautiful angel. Yeah, dude. She's a sweet, beautiful angel. Dude. JP's daughter, dude. I might stand I'll up. I'll fucking rock, JP. <laughs> dude. I would shatter JP, dude. <laughs> I might stand up. What are you going to stand up for? <laughs> I might stand up. Dude. Wouldn't you be stoked? You're talking about shattering JP so you can <laughs> I, would, I, would I would expose JP, dude. It's on site. If I see JP giving a talk. You think you're going to punch him in the face? I'm not going to punch him. I'm going to go straight to it. I'm going to guillotine him. I'm going to jump, oh, jump in the air. God. Bring him down with me. I'll kill him. He's got like he'd diseases. Die. If you gave him a DDT, he'd yeah. die. I might stun him if to you, death. Oh, dude. Just go on stage while he's giving a talk. <laughs> or cut the lights. I might cut stand, the lights. I might stand up. Cut the lights. Choke slam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> cut the lights. Wake up. Everybody like, oh, my God. I oh mean, my dude, god! If you did choke slam him off stage to death, I feel like he might be able to survive a pedigree. He could survive a pedigree. Oh, <laughs> head first with my weight coming down. He would ex his head might. I, if I give a pedigree to someone, they might their head might pop. Pile driver, no chance. Pile driver, he's dead. He's dead. Stay weak. People, he'd survive the people's elbow. He might be a critical. Might be condition. a standing super. <laughs> <laughs> Big J, I'm stealing Big J's on that. What? Big J's talking about beating up women. And he, he's talking about doing like a standing suplex to a woman. Oh. And having her like in on it. So she's standing, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> like, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. JP, you could rock. Oh, yeah. You would fuck him up for sure. But his son would avenge him. He has a son? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I saw quiet him. Quiet bull. He's a quiet True. dude. He would come out, dude, like a maniac. You know, some guy got punched in the face of the Raven last night? No, that's great news. Yeah. Dude, Sean, show me the footage. Who got punched? Just strangers or comics? Some dude. He was he was on stage. Uh, he's a he's a comic. He was on stage. He's yeah. on stage. Cardini, dude. were you there? I was not there, but <sighs> he put the video up of him getting punched in the it's, face on his Instagram. He got fucking rocked, dude. It was really bad. He's my friend. Really? Yeah. yeah he Which got, friend? Do you, do you think he would? You I don't mean, know. he put it online. Yeah, his name is Naeem Ali. I, Shout out. I do know Naeem. Yeah. Isn't Naeem jacked? Yeah. Isn't that dude, who's fighting Lamar? He wants to box Lamar, yeah. And well, he's, he's 0 for 1. 1 right now. <laughs> yeah, he's 0 for 1 in amateur bouts. Well, who was the guy who punched him? 
uh, it's a little bit of personal business, not even mm. a comic, just a dude that didn't like him, just lurking in the back of the comedy show for two hours. <laughs> just and then right when shot. it was ending, yep. he ran on and just Got him as his closer. Him. Yeah. yeah, dude. On stage or on walking stage. off stage? Dude, his head hit the back of the, the wood. Like he got, it was a running. Dorian up. broke it up, though. He, Dorian hopped in, bro. Nice. I'm just happy he didn't light somebody up. Dirty Deeds could have lit someone up. That's what I'm saying, bro. He released the snake out of his... <laughs> out of his like, stay back. Like his like his dark materials, dude? Yeah. Like, a snake will clean... Dorian probably has a snake on him. Keeps that thing keeps on that him. <laughs> keeps a 12-inch boa on him. Yeah, he, keeps, he also keeps that thing on him, dude. Does he? Yeah, bro. Come Dorian, on. Dorian keeps a gun and a snake on him. Yeah, dude, all the time. The Deeds. Dorian's like Bayou Billy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy got fucking laid that's my nightmare dude, dude getting laid out at the raven that sucks i mean this dude got a full running head start ran up cracked jermaine o'neill him yeah from dude. fucking the, hard as fuck you remember that punch jermaine it was, was that the, when he uh, went in the stands yeah but then there was like a little guy a little fat guy came on the court and fucking seven foot jermaine o'neill ran across no, Gave him like a sliding punch. Who was the guy who did it up in the stands? That was Ron Artest. I'm thinking he of Ron went Artest. Up. Yeah, I didn't see Jermaine O'Neal. Steven Jackson. That's his name, right? Steven Jackson? Mm -hmm. He's the man. Yeah. I support them for that. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Someone threw a drink at you? Yeah. And the whole team, the Pacers are just like, all right, fuck them. Fuck this, We're dude. going. Why? Was that, there was the, it must have been the away team. They were, they the, were away the away team. team. Where were they? At Detroit. Yeah. And what happened was Ron Artest kind of got into a fight with Ben Wallace. Yeah, I don't know if you remember him. He was a fucking I ben, ben terrifying a big dude. monster. Yeah, he's a big dude. Like the the argument was who would win a fight, Shaq or Ben Wallace. That's an argument. What? Yeah, he was that level of like beast. Damn. Because Diesel would he get you. He knows kung fu too. True. She does Shaqville. Shaqville. I think Shaq <laughs> is a CBD company. Probably. You he's, know, there's he's a... also with the General Papa John's. He's all day. Is he really? Yeah, he's all. He does every commercial. <laughs> really? He's a new Billy Mays. What? He is. That's he funny. saw this boat in half. <laughs> that's what he's going to do. Um, but yeah, the dude got anyway, rocked. Guy got rocked. Yeah, that's Smacked terrible. his head against the wall. And then he popped up. You know, again, people you have rushed, to pop up. People rushed the dude. And, you know, everyone, Dorian fucking came, jumped in on it. Did anyone get a sock on it? Did anyone punch that's that guy? That's what I said. I, I figured some people would be. Well, people were holding him. You got to give him a little butt got belly. It, a little bit. I'd like to yeah. kill you. Yeah, you're a little fucking. I mean, I definitely. I know 100%. I would. If. I had the op that opportunity. I would punch that guy just because. <laughs> yeah, just because. Just because. I would. I would just be like, I don't ever get to punch someone as hard as I can yeah. in the ribs. I need to do this right. I would absolutely punch him at least three times as hard as I yeah. could. Just like I, I have no emotional investment in the person or whatever. But if I was in that situation, I would have been. Huh, I went through huh. a phase where I was doing that in college to anybody that was taking a. Uh, what the fuck was it? A keg stand? Mm -hmm. Anybody that was getting keg stand, I would get under and punch him in the stomach. <laughs> my, this one dude, I remember I was at Pitt. I was at my friend's frat. Oh. And they were doing a keg stand. And the dude doing it. And I just socked him in the dick like three oh. times. <laughs> and his legs, but people were holding him. He was trying to like curl up. <laughs> He's like, dude, what the fuck? Someone fucking is hitting me. And I left. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, next time you see someone doing a keg stand, definitely punch him in the balls. Oh, fuck. Punch him in the belly. Oh, punch him in the belly and the balls <laughs> not, on a keg stand. Too. Well, because they try to curl up, but people oh. are like holding their legs as hard as they can. They're getting restrained. Well, it's also, too, it's funny because you're just late for the party. Oh, you're yeah. You're like, oh, it's my time. Let's yeah, go. And you're like, oh, 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 my nuts. <laughs> Someone's punching me in the dick. <laughs> Let go of my legs. Yeah, what's the record? 35 seconds? Watch this. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> we should go to, a, we should go to a, uh, a college party. Please. And just punch somebody in the dick. Any college it. listeners, <laughs> let us come to your party. Let us come to your party and punch I promise not to be a sexual predator. <laughs> I don't think you can. Well, you, know, you can, yeah. Um, I guess there's other ways to predate upon women yes. who aren't, you know. Yeah, so. <laughs> but he won't do that. I would not lie. do that. I would I'm just coming that. there to punch someone in the dick and leave immediately. Yeah. That'd be so funny, dude. It'd be great. Dude, you could, if you went to, honestly. Especially because if we went to a college party, the only way we'd get invited <laughs> it was if one dude liked our podcast. Yeah. They'd bring us in and be like, yo, these are uh, my favorite podcasters. And everyone would be like, who the fuck are these losers? And then we'd punch them in the and dick. then punch a kid in the dick. And everyone would be like, oh, <laughs> you're the best. Get that kid gonna, out of here. I'm going to show up for the college party dressed like it's uh, can't hardly wait. I'll have like ski goggles on my side of my head. Or like, we're both going to get pants. <laughs> <laughs> that's my the ultimate fear with college students is getting pants <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, dude, I uh, we should do that. I I I think we can't go to a college party. No, no, I'm saying what I want to do. Take I'm going to take it even a step further. I'm going to build this into like a 10 year plan, maybe 20 year plan. I want to get old and retire quietly to like a, a college town and just study kung fu. Spend the last half of my life being really good at kung fu. And become something like like dark folklore where I break into college parties like just full fuck moons people up. and just punch like three people in the dick and just I like, leave. And they're like, dude, I swear to God, this guy he He's got a up. legend. That's not true. That only happens. That's actually it happens every really, ten years. Yeah, that's great. Just come out from. The, I would have like a real weird house and I would come yeah. out decked in black and, like three in the morning. People would be so drunk they'd be like, dude, oh, every Corona even... party if you sync it up to every ten years during festival carnival. I might start a carnival <laughs> just so I can punch a college kid in the nuts. Just one. Just lay out college. Just catch him like. By himself. Break into a frat house while they're all like watching TV. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Just, like, <laughs> just hit a kid right in the chest. First kid that's like, you gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. Stay underneath your fucking My club, hood. of course, and dude. And then just <laughs> <laughs> pop a kid in the chest. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That's not oh. cool. <laughs> Start throwing flying. Hey, we're trying knees. to come on each other here. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, the year's we're watching Generation. <laughs> yeah, frat houses will be by the wayside. Oh, yeah. They'll be gone. In the next yeah. 10 years, they're gone. Maybe I'll have to break into sororities and fucking... <laughs> What's that guy's name? Who's the serial killer? Ted Bundy? I'm not going to kill them. I'm just going to break into... I'm yeah. just gonna you go say in... you're not going to kill them. I'm going to push Wait them. till you get in there. There's no one around, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you say you're not going to murder them. That's why I never went into a sorority house. You're not going to nibble any after college, you knock them out? In college, like I remember bite a, a girl being like, when I come in the sorority house, in my head being like, I might murder all of you. It's so hard <laughs> not to murder all of you guys. I have a very deep desire to kill all of you. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So I'm not going to come in. <laughs> Do you want to come up to my room? It's like, no, I, I would kill everybody I in would there. Murder everybody <laughs> Probably with my bare hands while you guys are sleeping. <laughs> I'd murder and at least eat one of you. <laughs> yeah, one of you I would take a bite out of. <laughs> Dude, I, I How might... scrumptious are your college girls? Oh, dude, to murder them and then eat them? Yeah. That's... I mean, dude, I might go on vacation. I might that's go on every dude. Vacation. That's dude's dream. <laughs> every mur- dude's... Every ski's... <laughs> every ski's dream is to drive a golf cart into a sorority <laughs> and just munch. Murder and munch? Oh, my God. What do you think with a golf... What's weapon of choice? A strangle. <laughs> <laughs> so Get a while they're sleeping, just like, hey... Oh, and then, you get, then once they're out, you get a finger, get oh. a couple of tendies, and head out. Oh, the fridge is the fridge is stocked, dude. I actually was in a sorority house once. The freezer is stocked with snacks. All of their mommies and daddies go in there and buy them food. Yeah, yeah. The freezer. Then they I get peeped. their periods and eat them. That's all. I, yep. Then their pussies bleed and they eat ice cream. Yep. Disgusting. Yeah, that's why. That's why get, I want to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I I think I might actually do it where instead of busting into the house. I might just like, I could even go undercover as a um, security guard, just ride a Huffy all yes. night, just chill on a Huffy and see like a drunk dude walking home alone. Call him a rapist R- or just beat the hell out of him. Oh, you're saying call him a rapist. Oh yeah. yeah you could secu- Yeah. You could just, you could be the Swedish bicycle guys. Oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, all you have to do is see a college kid walking home. Be like, oh, rapist. <laughs> that's how you should train for your frat. Like occasionally just wallop a fucking dude walking home. That's what I was saying. That's yeah. how that's how I'd keep the folklore going. You have to find someone alone and like very drunk at three in the morning and just go up behind them, like security, and just be like punch him in the nuts. <laughs> just knock just out. Get right in the nuts. No, just in the I, I would try to Freeze. knock security. Like, can you knock someone unconscious by punching them in the dick? There has to be a I level mean, where they probably. pass out. Just fucking <laughs> and then run and just take off. And the guy would be like waking up, like I think someone punched me in the nuts last night. Like no, they fucking did it. Yeah, especially if you have a security flashlight. Blind them. Blind them while you approach. Oh, just be like freeze. Empty. Your, put your hands over on top of your head. Mm. Fuck your back. <laughs> right in the nut. The cops. Come. What would your name be? You'd have to have like a the strangler or something the like nutcracker, that. Nutcracker, dude. The nutcracker. The nutcracker. What campus? Where are you gonna terrorize? I might go some small, like rural college out, in, like the middle of Pennsylvania. Oh, something yeah. like a small college, dude, yeah. where, like a nice folklore. You could, get, you could get Messiah College. That's right by me. That'd be nice. It's a Christian university. That's like a dry campus. That'd be perfect. That would be great. That's a, and Wait, they're, they're like, not gonna be drunk ever. Yeah, but they're very religious, so the lore will grow like True. crazy. They'll be like, "There's an actual demon on campus." True. Yeah, yeah. They'd be like performing exorcisms. You'd pop out of the woods. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just start running away. That would be awesome, dude. Lurk and then just, just even even if you didn't hit him in the nuts, but to just like gut punch any kind of just hard strike on a, just a kid who's like nineteen, like, what's up, man? What's, what's, oh fuck! What's up, dude? Be like, I'm not your dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's sir. <laughs> 
dude. I'm not your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> might have to go to the might have to go to the Elks and start a secret brotherhood. Next dude. time you go to the Elks, try to win bingo and just be like, yes, dude. Oh. <laughs> Everyone in there will be like, what the fuck? Dude was their generation. You know what I mean? Like our generation. Generation is to us what dude was. Everyone's walking around saying dude. Yeah. What the hell? That would piss them off. Like, oh, I'm right here, dude. <sighs> dude? Oh. <laughs> Right here, I'm thinking of that. Hit Phil with that right now. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? That's a fucking. He'd lower his fucking glasses. <laughs> yeah, that's a. I'll dude you, dude. Yeah. You think I'm your? I'm not your dude. I'm not your dude. I'm not your dude. You I'll think f- I'm one of your buddies? You think I'm MacGyver or whatever is it? He, he calls you MacGyver <laughs> nonstop. <laughs> All he does is call you MacGyver. He's like, what are you, what are you, you and uh, MacGyver, are you guys still doing that? It's like, yes, dude. What are you going to... That you, makes me so happy they're, to know. They're so eager to know if people are stopping doing comedy. Really? All of them. That's all they... Yeah, my parents are very like, uh, you and MacGyver still doing that little thing? <laughs> it's like, yeah, we are. That's so fucking funny. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh dude, MacGyver fucking rules. Yeah. Pretty pumped He up. constantly calls you MacGyver. Oh, that's so sick. That's so sick. Yeah. At this point, it's intentional. It has to be. Even rolls even more. He's losing his mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a geese, dude. He's full Biden. He's yeah. like 10 years younger, 15 years younger than Biden. What the fuck? Think of him. Yeah. Think of any of your geese or dads like 10 years from now. What's... Running the country. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> what's, what's, uh, what's Biden's like drug use history? Trump is substanceless. Yeah, he said he didn't do anything. Yeah, but Trump was definitely on the something because he so? was spry, dude. He uh, was a geese. Yeah. Wait, do you think he took like like Adderall? something from his doctor? It's probably Adderall. He he probably doesn't count medicine as he's probably yeah. like, it's medicine. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it was probably Adderall. You think he was on Adderall the whole yes. time? Yes. Damn. I mean, honestly, I think every president should be required to be on Adderall, which is impressive considering how thick he is. That's what I'm saying, dude. I don't he's know if that he, thick I don't know if he was on Adderall. Juiced on Adderall. He might not be on Adderall. I think he was. He, might he had be, to be on something. I think he's just high T. I, I think, agree. I think he's, I think he's off, high T. Please tea, don't let IQ. me. Please don't let me be on the side of the argument that's against Trump being high T. <laughs> I'm I'm Obviously, I'm the guy's high T. I think he's. I think he's just high T, high IQ, and it looks like he's on Adderall. High IQ. I think he's like 160, probably. <laughs> he's slightly lower than Jones. It's like Jones is 170. Jones and Trump's is up 160. There. But no, I don't know. I, I'm. I just. I just miss hearing stuff about my president, dude. I feel lost. I know. Even if it was bad stuff, at least I knew what was going on. Isn't it on. nice to be able to go back to being able to publicly be like, yo, Trump fucking ruled. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Pretty funny, man. Everyone's kind of coming around on that tip, too. What do you mean? Everybody dude? that was pretty neutral on Trump is like, damn, Trump's gone. Yeah. It sucks. I mean, dude. Christmas I... is dead now. Yeah. The war on Christmas is officially over. Yeah, dude. We all, we, I guess we're going to all go back to believing the news again or the something? The skis were just sent back into the darkness. Back yeah, to the links. Dude. They're just a, they're on hole 17 right now. They'll return to save us. They'll be back. Well, they're probably, I mean, the, the stickers are still on the golf carts. That's that's what my going to be my vehicle, dude. Golf cart with a Trump 2020. It's going to be year 2040. Yeah. I'll pull up and just punch people in the nuts. And I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Who the fuck is Trump? <laughs> <laughs> he was the best ever. <laughs> <laughs> you were racist if you liked him. <laughs> <laughs> It was a fun time. The media spun an unfair narrative about him and race. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. I like your plan. That's a good plan. Terrorize. Yeah, man. Universities. Yeah. Just one kid at a time. That that keeps the folklore <laughs> going. Just one dude. One. It would be. Yeah. You'd be like the yeah, like the Jersey Devil. Exactly. It'd be like kids would like drive at night to try to find it. Be the PA dick puncher, dude. You'd, <laughs> like, there he is. You'd be at home in a, you know, an ice bath, just ice, dude. just punching the water. So apparently. This this was a this was tough for me. This, I had a, I had a tough week. Well, I did the ice bath, but before I did it, I, I watch a lot of guys on YouTube who are like, "There's this who, there's this YouTube market where these guys are quietly um, coming out as like these kind of like new age health guys who are all all like way against coronavirus. It, it's a very weird blend of they don't believe dude, it, dude. Not at not at all. But they like not at all. Like the one guy. There's so that I, Paul check is one guy. He's, he's like a little more tame. He's a little more reserved. He's still like, he's a wild dude. And then you have this guy certified health nut who 
certified health nut is into taking cold ice baths and then ball slapping. He said when you come out of a cold ice bath and slap your balls at like it's good for you apparently. He calls it sexual kung fu. And he also kung fu. Hold on. I do have to stop you. How much of him do you believe? Well, have you tried talking, slapping you talking, your balls? No, 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 after an God, ice no, bath? no, no, no. All I, right. I, I don't took wanna... the ice bath. So I took the ice bath. Did and, you think about it? Well, dude, it was so like again. I've done the fifty degree. Oh this my water God! Was slapping so, your balls after an ice bath? That, I don't know how hard he's slapping. So he's going to come out with a program. Even if you fucking like, that would suck, dude. I did the thirty five degree ice bath in my my buttocks, like my butt muscles seized in like just crazy <laughs> pain. I was like, ow. <laughs> Ow! I feel like I have to do the the barrel that I'm totally submerged because it was like parts of my body that were out of the tub just convinced oh the God. parts that were in like get out. So like I just like dip my butt in my legs in my back, and my fucking ass just hurt, dude. It like it hurt. It was just like it was a pain. So I'm gonna go. It's like I'm, before <clears throat> bed. No, it's like the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what are you and doing? And then I had a, a kinked <laughs> neck, a, a further kink to my neck too, because I, I seized up. So like my neck now, it, it was a little bit of a kink. Now the kink, like it's full. Like when someone calls my name, I'm like, yeah, well that's because. Ah, yeah. That hurts what are like you I'm doing? Like, well, I needed to do it, dude. No, it was a challenge. Dude. I no. needed to do it, and dude, I will, I will be able to take that degree, that level of temperature, but I got to work my way down. Yeah. You check the hypothermia tables, dude. You can stay within thirty. You should, you know, you should get into 10, 15 minutes. nice warm baths. I do. Nice I like them book too. And a candle. I like those too. I get take into those. that. I take those. All right. But the cold Damn, water. I'm taking a bath. Cold I'm... water is good for you. Oof. You get that platelet rich blood. It, like it. It just sucks all of like this weird blood cell. Like your body thinks it's going to die basically, and just kicks out all of this good stuff for your body. It's good. It is good for you. But dude, is that real science or is that from yeah. the YouTube guy no, that no, slaps no. his that's, nuts? That's real. Okay. That's real. I mean, I mean, I know it's good. It for is good like for muscles. You. Yeah. Because we would do it after football. You'd have to do it. Exactly. That's why I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Did you guys do what, what yeah, temp water was it? it? It was ice. It was ice water. It was a giant bucket, like plastic yep. bins, and you filled it with ice. That's what I got. I need the And it was the worst, because the, the coaches would be like, ice baths after practice. would be like, <laughs> How long did you sit in there for? I don't know. I, I would rarely do it. Really? I would try. Yeah. Dude, I was a loser. <laughs> I was. I just wanted to be the captain of the water polo. Dude, just ball slide. I would walk by and like look at people doing it and be like, what the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> They all they they don't be jacked with abs and black dude. It, it actually will. Fat your muscles are sore. Dick. I, I <laughs> dude. Well, here's the thing: you don't want to happen. In if you're in a barrel, you can just submerge in there. Your team is I floating. Was straight out of the fucking water, dude. How straight big? What diameter water. are we talking to the head here at this point? What do you, you mean, di- like the width or the height? The just I mean, the, dude. I'm talking like the, my the dick. Ti- if my penis was in that, yeah. Let's go scale. My dick was literally this big. Yeah. And it was like it was so small that it was erect. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. It stood straight up. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> no, I'm saying it like <laughs> it just went. Can't even imagine. I, I've never seen. I have it float in the bathtub. This was just like there was no there, there was no other way it could. Good news right there. Ah, oh, dude, this thing must. Have, I must be giving. I'm I'm on cam, dude. True, and you're skinny right now, dude. It was it was. You must have had a full team. It was tiny, dude. I, I'm giving my. You know, I'm not. I'd, I'd have to take a picture. I wasn't. It was such a freakishly small penis you could that send I was me like. That. What? I'd be happy to see that. that would I'll make take the. My day. It's pretty fucking. That sick. That would make my day, and I would promise not to show it. I never showed you your Grinch photo. True. In its entirety. True. That was at a good, least like that your was head a and good chins. Photo. That photo is. I still have it. I mean, Great I love photo. it. If you die, I'm releasing it. You have to. Day of death, I'm putting it. That'll out. be my funeral. That's your bitch. Yeah, that'll be your funeral card. Has to. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that's but, terrifying. Oh, that picture was crazy. Oh yeah. Was that like? Was that like when you were like, I gotta get in shape when you saw it, or? I was still trying to get in shape. That was, I'm telling you, that it, that's night vision, dude. It throws your body. I be, I mean, night vision adds I agree. 40 pounds and adds 60 years to your body. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agreed. I knew that was night vision. I knew you weren't that. But no, I, I was kind of like, I was trying to get in shape before that. And oh, yeah, you that, told me. Yeah. I was just like, Jesus Christ, I got to get in shape. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I avoid, my poor I avoid daughter, dude. photos. My poor daughter just looking out, waking up and just seeing just Grinch The body. bitch, dude. Yeah, the bitch, dude. And literally the bitch. Just walking upside no. down. <laughs> No, my main goal is not to <clears throat> require uh, like serious assistance upon the time of my death. That's what I'm. That's trying all to, you can that's hope. What for. I'm trying to avoid. Yeah, that's, that's all I care about is not having to be like, like resuscitated. Over. Yeah, or just like people screaming. I don't want. I don't want to burden some Jamaican lady with having to like wipe my ass for five years before I die. Yeah. Or although that sounds 
right up your alley. Well, I'd like to, to I'd like to be able to enjoy it. Put it that way. I think you would. I'd like to be able. I'm saying like. I think you would enjoy be that. Young and spry, and just be like, it's time to get my ass wiped. And be like, ah, I think you'll always be young at heart. Matt, you play too much. Matt, you've been <laughs> shitty boy. I wiping your fucking ass. <laughs> Big shitty boy, Matt Makoska. <laughs> Stop playing with me and wipe your own ass. No, I'm 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 staring down the barrel of a nice massive heart attack. Hopefully at a you kids. Think so? Hopefully at like a kids party. <laughs> he has mid hot. He's dog. like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm gonna go expire in the bathroom. I'll be right back. <laughs> you gotta start dressing for your heart attack. Polo cat. No, I'm talking about some polo and a tucked in khakis. Dude. I'm ready to die, dude. At all times. You think? You know, I don't think you want, dude, biggie, dude. The medical technology is too big. I'm dressed, ready to die. Fauci's gonna steal your fucking warrior's My, death, dude. Uh, Fauci's gonna take away your warrior's death. Warrior's death at the grill. Like Tony Soprano passing out through a grill, <laughs> knocking it over, starting a fire. <laughs> you, you're you're scheming on like a Fourth of July. I am, yeah, yes. It'll be hot out. Just like you fall into a bunch of plates, and you're like, ah, yeah. ah. It's like call nine one one. Yeah, I want my last words. I want to hear people shouting. Yeah, help, help him. Call nine one one. Oh my god. Oh. There's some bitch wife I didn't even care about. I'm dying. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> she's in pain I'm like yes the doctors fix you and you come back you're just, ah, ah, fuck yeah, yeah that's, or getting shot that'd be a good you think shot, you shot a bunch of times yeah that'd be tight where do you think you get shot at <laughs> I don't know where do you think uh, why you think what do you mean I don't think you're gonna get shot I I'm hope saying, like where, what like, setting you know I'm, I'm thinking backyard barbecue for the heart attack for I'm the, thinking backyard, backyard barbecue as well and just a couple G men come in with Tommy guns. What? What about a hunting accident? Hunting accident would also be tight. That'd be tight. Yeah, getting hit while in the fucking tree stand, <laughs> <laughs> falling out. It's <laughs> getting JFK. <laughs> yeah. Just up oh. there shitting in a bucket like those maniacs do. <laughs> you know they do that? They just shit yeah. in buckets in their tree stands? Yeah. They're yeah, up there dude. like chain smoking, drinking coffee in the morning. Dude. As soon as you get to the tree stand, you got to crap. Yeah, I mean, dude, for every deer that gets shot with a Remington, it's like a woman who doesn't get smacked in the head. That's true. A, that's something you gotta just. <laughs> mm-hmm. So yeah, <laughs> sit. You just sit out in a, a woman fucking smacked in the freezing head. cold fucking wooden <laughs> treehouse, and you're like, that's fucking damn fucking bitch. What do you think? That's just. I would never advocate for the violence. Yeah. Against women. Sure. It's disgusting. It disgusts me. There's got to be a split second, like. <sighs> when you finally connect. Yeah. I'm, I'm honestly <laughs> extract that bit. That's not a good no, bit. I know it's not a good bit, but you ever see like, uh, <laughs> like in, uh, the longest yard when the one guy's in for punching the warden, he got an extra like 10 years. They're yeah. like, was it worth it? He's like, yeah. <laughs> dude, I wonder if there's just one guy out there that's in jail. Like, yeah, it was worth it. It was worth it. Was I worth tagged her. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I it's think like a Tyson fucking walk up. Just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do something like there should be weight class should be considered. For sure. I agree. It should be. You got to hit a big Bertha if you're a big dog. Yeah. It's like welter, heavy. You got to lay out a Bertha. Featherweight, welter. There has to be some True. sort of ruling. Especially if women are kick-ass. Well, if the women are kick-ass and she's been taking classes on like self-defense, you're like, all right, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there needs to, I mean, with, with, you know, I mean, you, you can't, it's just the law itself. I, again, I'm not a violence never, against women in this episode. I would never do it. No, I'm talking about mur- hitting kids in the nuts. I'm talking about well, yeah, murder. We're also sororities. talking about breaking and murdering college. <laughs> we're women. just talking about the urge to murder entire yes, that, sororities. You know that deep desire that all men have buried deep in them to break into a house and it murder? only comes up when people threaten to uh, destabilize the patriarchy. I've noticed. True. When people are like, "Wait a second. When people talk about the wage gap, I'm like, Ugh. I just see like those Greek letters, and I'm like, yeah. yeah, get away. When it's running them, <laughs> murder them. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I don't want to murder somebody. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you do. No, I just want to. You know, I don't think you. Do. I don't want to do anything there. I just, I'd go in there. I don't even want to go. Make in sure there. they're all okay. Like, is everybody studying? <laughs> is everybody all right, get back to your studies. I'm gonna slowly walk out no, backwards. Slowly grip, slowly, <laughs> yeah. slowly grip the handle of the butcher knife. <laughs> <laughs> in your front pocket, just <laughs> palms sweating. You guys, studying hard. <laughs> I hope you guys are uh, catching up on all your books. <laughs> uh, no. The serrated yeah, holding knife. your wrist that's holding it. It's like, no. 
<laughs> what movie are you guys uh, watching? Scream. It's like, uh, uh, that's a good one. That's like one of my favorites, actually. Uh, <laughs> fuck. I'm crying, dude. Uh, they're like, oh, all of our. <laughs> There's a girl watching TV. It's like, where's everybody else? It's like, oh, they're all taking a nap. It's like, uh, <laughs> They're in their PJs upstairs. Ooh. Bake the window. What was that noise? Bake the window down here. It just slides down. Yeah, we can't keep it closed. <laughs> so it's open at night? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's God. like it's spring break, so most of the houses are empty. Except ours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Sick. That's a fun bit. Just murder. There's a guy who wants to kill college <laughs> girls. <laughs> Bundy. Just out there fighting the good fight. Bundy did it, dude. Oh, he was like, for every dude that does it, there's a hundred that are just kind of like they dropped their daughter off in college, and they're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, oh man. Uh, they're, they're they're up with their buddies playing murder rape eat. They're like, who would you? Yeah, who, which who of the three? Murder, yeah. Who would you rape? Who would you eat? Well, I mean, yeah, I'd... <laughs> murder rape eat's a good game. I'm eating Gamasai. <laughs> yeah, Gamasai, you got to murder them. Got to munch. We got to murder all of them eventually. The sororities? I mean, you can't just eat them alive. You have to murder them. You can't. You got to catch and kill. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Damn, I wish we would have got canceled on that. Uh, on psychosexual masochism, yes. whatever Norm MacDonald calls it. Yeah, like, yeah, You yeah. know, psychosexual masochism. You know that thing that makes you feel like God? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, that would be funny to get canceled on uh, murdering an entire fraternity. Yeah. Or just talking about, just getting the lines of like, Gonna grip the butcher knife. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And as I unscrew the bars that are supposed to safeguard their windows from the outside. <laughs> I had a feeling I was doing something wrong, but yeah. I was in too deep at that point. Just a small handheld acetylene torch as I melt the bars and make my way inside. Yes. Yeah, that'd be tight. The sororities around here have bars, don't they? Yeah. On the first Damn, floor, not on the keep second. Out the preds. Not on the second. <laughs> Think how many predators have been befuddled by that. Oh my! Just, like, yes, tonight's the night I'm going to rape and murder a whole sorority. Oh, <gasps> spotlight comes on while you're out front, like. <laughs> yeah, dude, all your weapons fall. Some dude on a huff, he's like, "Stop, stop!" It. <laughs> Punches you in the dick. <laughs> stop, rapist. <laughs> There's just some like boy laying there. Like, what the fuck? And you're like, that was you. Yeah. I'm out. I can't believe you did that. You got to hold him down. I might. I might. I mean, I'm saying this right now. This might not age well, but I might retire to a small college town and sexually assault young men. Young men. Young men. Just young men. Just like, this is for fucking male privilege. Fucking just grab their dick and just not jerk it off like good. Just like hard eighth grade hand job. Just, <laughs> you fucking pig. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to let him know. It just as like a thing. Be like, look, you fucking. Man, you should have seen just the room, the mood in the room change. What? When you released your plan. The sexually assault I mean, young men. Both heads hung over there. Just, both of them went. <laughs> it was so sad. Yeah, when I said men, when I said men. Even that, it was, it was really? I mean, it helped slightly. I think it helped. Guard, the guard dog popped up. Yeah. He was in on the bit, but yeah. Noah stayed. <laughs> it's because he's a college age male true he's a target true he's, he's I a mean, target he's listening to two wolves ask what's for dinner <laughs> <laughs> he's a little sheep sitting there i'm talking about strictly men yeah men adult men and in the name of establishing femininity. equality and femininity yes in in the name of shortening the wage gap yeah just fucking just He'd like to just rip take dicks. A, a young drunk boy in my mouth and like acknowledge the divine mother <laughs> <laughs> He's 18, dude. He's 18. He's like, yeah, he's 18. You're allowed to sexually assault. Totally legal. True. Dude. There's nothing creepy about this. There's a fucking reach around, dude. Fucking... Yeah, but you could spawn a new superhero of a college youth oh, that goes to, like truck they, stops. It would get me in. What? He goes to truck stops and he's What's... like, this is for the patriarchy. And then just gets a train run on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. My plan's backfiring. All the boys are like, we got one. We got one. <laughs> There's one here. It's, it's our dream. 10 dudes <gasps> oh, at the fuck, Vince Lombardi dude. rest stop just running a train. Dude, they're, like tow tru- they're like tow trucks. They're like tow trucks. Dudes coming into the Sunoco for Gatorade, coming back out. <laughs> <laughs> Sweaty. <just> like- <laughs> yeah, like, did you ever get an accident? Like, Buy like, like rhino pills. <laughs> oh, <laughs> grab the stash. Yeah, I'll take a five hour energy drink in a, uh, what are these, rhino pills? <laughs> oh, fuck. Just doing a line on the counter. In they front probably of the have cashier. Pez dispensers, dude. It's just rhinos fucking. 
I wonder, yeah, I bet those dudes just popped Another shit. college vigilante here? If I was driving pain. like 24 hour, like 36 hour haul, I'd, and uh, you're just in a rest stop, like, I wonder what these pills actually do. You take all I'd of them. I'd be popping You'd those You'd have things. to. Yeah. Yeah. Just be driving, just like, oh, <laughs> I'm so fucking hard. <laughs> oh, fuck. I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> you got to call a physician. <laughs> Where are you? It's like, I'm on I-80. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they map out the distance for the rest stops is yeah. the time a rhino takes to kick in. Like, <laughs> <Yeah. "Rah." laughs> oh, yeah. man. Truckers, might... truckers are the best. I love them. They're terrifying. I love them, dude. We might have to slide into the page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. To, let's, you can we find probably us on the page. Slid the page we should have slid on the page for all the Probably about 20 uh, minutes ago. Strangling and murdering women. What are we at, 121? <sighs> I'm off, dude. As soon as I thought I was good at it. Um, yeah, it happens. I had to stop. Yeah. I was getting, there'd be times I'd be like, are we at one hour right now? I'd be like an hour 20. I'd be like, fuck. I'm, yeah, I'd I'm so gay. I suck, dude. Um, guys, this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'll be at Helium Indianapolis. Please come to that. It'll be me and BJ. Actually, the real show, the real money is next, next weekend, Friday, the 26th and 27th. Auburn, Alabama, Palm child. headlining the crown of comedy, which I believe is in a strip mall in Alabama. Yes, dude. Let's get it. Dude, that's going to be tough. I, I mean, this is just one of those where everybody that was like, cancel culture is not real. He's doing fine. They're exactly right. Come see me at a strip mall in Auburn, Alabama, y'all. Just crushing it, dude. <laughs> just, that's, that's a university. What? Nothing. You'd be crushing it, dude. I might get invited to a sorority after the show. You think so? They better hope not. <laughs> I'll be roll damn tied in there. Uh, April fifteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth, headlining Helium Buffalo. Ooh, you want to come to Helium Buffalo? And that's it for now. That's, that's huge. all I'm gonna say. Oh, actually, you know what? what? You A lot of people will be interested in this. The 29th and thirtieth, and the first of May. So the 29th and thirtieth of April, the first of May, Harrisburg Comedy Zone. Oh, yeah, it's a big one. You're turning home. That's yeah. What day is I'm that? I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell my dad. About time do they knock it off, Please don't dude. come. He's coming. He will. I'm going to call him like Phil. It's MacGyver. We got to go. Um, HBZ. HBZ. Yeah, the Harrisburg Comedy Zone. I try surprise, to surprise. Surprise. What? <laughs> I, can't, I can't make it. Surprise, surprise. Before. The king is back. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be like, yo, he's, I'm just going to get bombed and... Just come Have out fun. and dress the people. I will. You'll just be like basically on a balcony just fucking. Yes. <sighs> My people. I'm here. I've returned. If things do go bad, I'm just going to run for mayor of Mechanicsburg. Dude, you would crush. Yeah. Such a good idea. That's, I, I, Hold dude. rallies at the Grove. Come on, man. Get the people fired you would inst- up. You would instantly win mayor. No problem. You think I'm a good mayoral candidate? Dude, I'd ban him for you, dude. You would be banning. I'd be sloppy, yeah. Steve. We need to get him in an ice bath. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's retarded. God damn it. My campaign manager. Yeah, it'll be tough. It's like, don't worry. I got a good idea for it. I mean, dude, like, what would, is it? It would be like six. You ever hear chess. of throwing stars? <laughs> what? Dude, it would play Ninja well. Ninja weapons would play it well would in play Mechanicsburg. Well. If you got, got the podium sword. and you're just like, oh, sorry. Yeah. You know, you guys are all coming here. First order of business. What would, what, would our... what would the platform be? Yeah. I mean, dude, you would come up and just be like, you guys like Tucker Carlson, right? Me too. What are we going to do about it? Yeah. Like, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, true. What the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> be like, yo, you guys like Tucker? <sighs> be like, you guys worried about immigration? I have a plan to stop immigration all around the world. Yeah. Let's stop all immigrants from ever. They'd be like, holy shit. Holy shit, we never even it. thought about that. Nobody's allowed to leave their fucking front yard. Yeah, dude. <laughs> fuck, this is awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Yeah, dude, mass. You do. Yeah, you just go out there, deny coronavirus, instantly win. You could do it like five. No, years. deny gay coronavirus. Kingsburg's half gay. Yeah, it's a battleground. It, it's a purple it, county now. What? A purple town, dude. It's gay now. But if you did it ten years from now, ten years from now will be. It's going to be very liberal. They're building all these like nice townhouses. True. It's going to be packed with pussies. The, the pussies. Yeah, you can get them. I'll rally the puss. Yeah, you could stage some sort of like horrible stuff that happens. What would be the name of the party? Can't be Republican. Ah, uh, it's gonna have to be Republican. You're gonna ride with the elephant. I'd have you'll to. Be right, you'll be right. You'll be on Trump. Trump's, call it Trump's People's Party. True. It's like, I'm starting the party that Trump should have started. Yes. I think he, he might. Uh, he said he's not gonna start one apparently, but 
Yeah, dude. I mean, look, we'll we'll keep that in our back pocket. Yeah, that's something we should plan on. Just local power. Yeah. Just fucking take over a municipality. It'd be funny if this got back to whoever the mayor of Mechanicsburg is. And it's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> There's a new rival. <laughs> I've been the incumbent for 30 years. Dude, you can start just like greasing up like paving contracts and shit. Like, yeah, you think you're building a park? Well, you're not. Nah, bro. Nah, Spud and Billy are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just give it to my boys. Start a war with Camp Hill. Let my boys rebuild it. Damn. Full Dick Cheney. Yeah, man. That'd be tight. All right. We got to switch Just over to uh, Oh, also, Stoner Dads is coming out. Nice. When? Tomorrow. Oh, AP, shit. I'm excited to see it. Hey, see, the work tight. you've put into it's been pretty cool. It's going to be tight. Yeah. It's going to be tight. Stoner Dads it's, tomorrow. It's about. It's a long one. It's a long one. Perfect. So it'll be good. That'll be out tomorrow night, 8 p.m. All right. What's the channel? Stoner Dads on okay, YouTube. Okay, sick. With a Z. Stoner Dads. With a Z? Yeah. Dads. Yeah. With a Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Check that out yeah. and uh, join our Patreon so you can watch more of this. Yeah. 